All right, everyone, how's it going? So we're gonna do some really cool products that kind of define my life, and then we're gonna do Q&A with Michelle and I. So we're just gonna have a really fun time. That's the whole intention of this live and show you some cool finds as well. So let's, should we kick it off with a product or a question? What do you wanna do? Um, put, writing it in a product, I'm putting in the Facebook group so everyone knows where to find you. Okay, sweet. Well, we're gonna kick off with a kegerator. So why is the kegerator important to me? Well, the kegerator on the screen um, that is up on the carousel right now, this is our home kegerator. And my husband and I have a company called Kombucha on Tap. So in addition to being an Amazon influencer, we have a company that we started in 2014 and we distribute kegs of kombucha and cold brew coffee. Now I'm not here to pitch that company. We're only in Southern California, but I am going to tell you, I'm obsessed with kombucha and having it on tap at home has been phenomenal. So keg readers are awesome. I'm a big fan of the one that's up. There's also a single tap called the Edge Star. That's a really good one as well. And then I have a video of what it's like to have a keg reader. Okay. So I'm going to mute us. And I almost asked you once about the keg reader I saw in the background. No, so now I'm so excited you're talking about it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to... co-kegerator. We have kombucha on tap at home, but we also have a distribution company and we set these up in so many different homes and offices. So here's an interior view of it. They're really easy to clean. You get the whole kit, you get a tank and everything, the coupler right there. And then you can fit two kegs in there if you have the six barrel. This top area, this can actually lift up and then it's really easy to clean. So you want to always keep that area clean. Ours looks like it needs a little wash right there. So we would get that cleaned. And also this little railing here, this can be removed if you don't want it. So perfect kegerator. You can swap out if you want like a single tap, a double tap, triple tap, but it's the best. You're going to love whatever you put on tap at home. It's so easy to use and it just plugs right into the wall. And again, we love it for home, but we also use them a ton for our business, and it's great. We love our K. Okay, you're right unmuted. There in that photo, I made like a fruit salad, and then I was adding sparkling kombucha to it. It was just really cool. Um, oh, yeah. We drink a ton. We drink so much kombucha, and my girls drink. My girls are three and five. They drink kombucha. Anyone that comes over to our house knows it's unlimited kombucha. Um, so when we have parties, definitely we go through a lot of kegs. So how did you get into kombucha? Um, so 2013, we were on a trip in Bend, Oregon, where I used to be a news anchor. And my husband was my boyfriend at the time. and He was on a work trip, so I went with him. And when he was working, I was hanging out around town, and I just saw kombucha on tap everywhere. And I drank it, but only in bottles. It didn't exist on tap in Southern California. So I told him, like, hey, there's this window of opportunity. Like, nobody is doing this in Southern California. And he didn't know what kombucha was. So I just make, made him drink it. And he was just kind of like, eh. Like, he wasn't blown away by it. He was just like, it's cool. Um, but he wanted to do a company that was healthy and active. And his company was going to move to Denver and we were getting serious. So we just said, you know what, let's start a company. And so we did. So our business is older than our marriage and it's yep. still going strong. It's nine years old now, the business. And he is running it every day as the CEO. And I do very little nowadays. <laughs> I've never had on tap. It's the best on tap. It tastes way better than the bottle. I mean, I love it in a bottle too, but it's so refreshing yeah. on tap. I'm going to look at local um, brands that do on tap in Minnesota. Oh yeah. I'm going to look it up after. Cause yeah. that would be real. To look it up. Kind so, of breweries and places that have yeah. taps. And we yeah. also in our keg right at home. So we have one tap kombucha and one tap cold brew. So I drink a lot of cold brew coffee and a lot of kombucha. So oh, wow. that, that sounds so fun. That's what I'm in the mood for. Yes. Okay. So I love that. Um, so also and, if you, a keg reader, you could put beer on tap. Like, that's probably what most people are going to get. Yeah. <laughs> um, and if you're just joining us, did we explain that we are doing the um, Q&A? No, so, I mean, if you're just joining us, we're going to pepper in some really fun questions throughout. So yeah. you want to kick off a question? Yes, I do. And I want, and I definitely encourage people to also um, answer the questions. Yeah. So just pop in there. And this kind of goes what we were talking about. If we, you just finished my live stream, you were on that, you were on it, but, um, we were kind of talking about actors. So this one, I'm going to put it in the chat. 
But this one is, and maybe in California, it's an obvious yes. But have you ever met a celebrity? Yes. Yes, I have. Many. I mean, okay. I don't, many, I guess, I, I guess not many. I don't know what that, that seems really ridiculous. <laughs> um, I've met more than a few. Um, yeah, I have met. The biggest one I've ever like met, I guess, is Oprah. Um, I went to her show twice and she's phenomenal when she had a show in Chicago. And one time there was like a and a and I, okay, this is just a quick, funny story. So I, I used to anchor the news and Oprah was on the same network. So I would always watch the Oprah show and then like the tail end of it would lead into our broadcast. So I always like studied what people wore, who the camera panned to. So I knew wear bright colors if you want to get a good seat at the Oprah show. So my mom and I went to the Oprah show and I said, mom, pack your brightest top you own. And we get there and she shows up with this lime green, like super muted top. And I'm like, mom, I told you to pack the brightest thing you own. Like, this is like really light. And I had this like blazer that was like electric blue. Like it was like blindingly blue. So uh, we get there and we're walking in, you know, they're like taking us to our seats and they just grab me by the arm and they're like, you're coming with us. And I'm like, oh, can my mom come? And they look at her, they go, no. <laughs> and so that's so funny. We got separated. So she's like back watching. And I was like front row center for the Oprah show. And so what was the topic? What? What was the topic of the show? You know, I love it. Unfortunately, them. both days were not like exciting topics. Um, one was like a book club, but it wasn't like, I don't know. They were just like, okay. Like the topics were like, uh. but then afterwards we were, she like opened the audience Q and A and I don't know, somehow her and I were talking about like being a news anchor and like how like cookie cutter the industry is. And like, I had this like moment of like bonding with Oprah. And then she was like, send me your tape. And I was like, Oh, like it was like my dream come true. I was like, Oh my God. Yeah. And I was like, of course, after I went up to a producer, I was like, okay, how do I send her my tape? And he was just kind of looked at me like, oh, you, you sweet thing. Like, she just says that, you know? <laughs> and I was like, but really, how do I send it? And I ended up sending a tape. And of course, I never heard anything. But um, that is a good one. Big deal to me. I saw her on um, her vision tour. She came around oh, when I first cool. moved here. I went to see her. Yeah, she's a huge fan. Of my, I mean, she's a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of hers. And uh, what am I saying? Anyways, it was just a funny story. I'm like, mom, my mom and her lime green shirt. <laughs> yeah. Told you, mom. Told you. Yeah, that's a good one. I know. Um, what about you? Have you met a celebrity? Well, like so many. When I used to live in Manhattan, I feel like right. and not, not, not the dog I have now, but I had this dog. I had a French bulldog and he was white and spotted like white with black spots. And at the time, French bulldogs were not everywhere. And I felt like he was a celebrity magnet. Aww. Like I just met like, just like people would be seeing me on the street and they'd be like, Baxter. Aww. And like, I was like, who is this person? But there were, ooh, um, I think like Sarah Jessica Parker and like um, Jimmy Fallon, like oh, this was through my dogs. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I saw... Um, like Ethan, not with my dog, but Ethan Hawke and Uman Thurman and um, Heather Graham and Woody Allen, like sat at a table next to us. And like, they're all so, the New Yorkers. It's so funny. Yeah, it's New York. Like, now I feel like, well, yeah, now it's kind of like, I, I like kind of seeing celebrities from afar. Now I don't really, oh, and Tina Fey is my best, probably oh, the best one. Love she her. approached me and started a conversation with her, with me. And then my husband oh, had like a dog. Wife. No. So I was on vacation with friends and um, her daughter was like similar age to my daughter. She just came over, started talking like mom stuff. And then it was funny because my husband had just finished working. He's in advertising on a shoot with a bunch of um, people she knew. And she was like, not interested in talking to him. Only me. <laughs> it was like, she just wanted to I can't imagine what life is like for celebrities. Like it's a weird world where you can't, just like talk to people and be normal, you know, like everyone either wants a selfie with you or wants, you know, wants yeah. to see you. It just would be a weird, a weird world. I know. That's so cool. I love that. That's so fun. Well, I'm going to jump to my shirt then just because like that shirt story made me laugh. Um, yeah. So put it up right now. Plus I love this shirt. So where did it go in my carousel? Okay. So I'm wearing this shirt. It's so cute. I'll stand up. It's 
like kind of sheer. So I just have like a tank top underneath and it has these stars and it comes in a variety of colors. You can wear it off the shoulder like the model does. Um, I love it. It just came in like one day and it's on super deal. So yeah, I think it, I'm going to get it and we're going to wear it together. Yes. We're going to be twinsies in it. We, Cause we do that anyway without planning it. I we know, might as we well. Do. And there's a, do you know, there's a 15% off coupon. I'm just looking. Yeah. And there's an additional coupon. So it's like score. Yeah. You gotta yeah. get it. It's so cute. It was so affordable. So it's adorable. I love it. Um, Alan just wants anyone's autograph. Doesn't have to be famous. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. So I'm going to go to my next product and this is very defining of my life. It is the Bob stroller and I have both the double and the single at our house. Um, so we can start with the double. I have a couple photos. Do you want to throw those? I, I'm which you have. A, I'll start with this one. There's the double. So there's my husband. We're at, this is a Disneyland trip we did a year ago. Okay. You can put a next one up. We okay. use our double Bob stroller all the time. Okay. There's my dog, my white fluffy dog and my daughter. He's, he's taking a ride in that stroller. Um, so yeah, it's just such an awesome stroller. And if you have two kids, it's kind of a must if you're active. Um, you can take it on trails, like you can see below. You can take it to amusement parks. It's amusement park. It's like the width of like ADA. So anything that's like handicap accessible, yeah. that stroller can get through. And trust me, I know because I have pushed it through some like very narrow doorways and little bridges and things before where um yeah. And PSA, if you see a mom with a stroller and a door, go hold the door for her. I can't tell you how many people, maybe it's a California thing, like watch me struggle getting a stroller through a door and don't help me. And I'm like, you, you know, know it's even really worse. hard to push. <laughs> okay. Even worse is being in the New York City subways and having to go up the stairs wearing one baby and having a kid in a stroller and no one helping you. Like what's wrong was, with people? Offer to help was, carry the stroller. I know. That was the story I, of my life. I would like cry, I think, because that is so hard to do. Like, we well, would have to do tr two trips. You'd have to be like, let me take my kid, hold their hand. Okay, you hold on to this rail. Don't move. I'm going to go run and grab that stroller, you know? And I don't even know. That is so hard to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a little. Um, I already took care of it. You did? Oh, good. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's Happy. why we can help each other. It's fun. Yay. Doing this that's so great. I always thought I had to do it on my end. So that's great. No, no. So I like this that we can do this. Okay. Yay. Okay. Um, let's go to, okay. So we did the single, we did the, oh no, we didn't do the single one. So there's also a photo of the single stroller. Wait, let me just hide these. Okay. They're coming in fast and strong. Coming in oh. hot. <laughs> All right. So am I doing, um, I'm doing the single stroller. So you want me to hide the other yeah. pictures? Oh, yeah. Let me hide that. There we go. Oh, where are the back? I don't know why you disappeared. One second. You're coming back. Okay. Oh, there I am. Yay. Okay. So that's the single stroller and it's awesome as well. So yeah, it's just good. Like we did a lot in stroller strides. Oh, there's one picture of like a whole bunch of moms too. Do you see oh, that? I have a picture like that from years ago. Oh, yes, I do. I see it. Yeah, okay. Throw that one up too. So this is just like all moms, all strollers, like hanging out, all their kids chatting while like we're trying to like get a workout in. So is this stroller um, easy to, um, is it easy to fold? Yeah. Um, not the first like 20 times you use it. <laughs> I feel like at first couple of times I was like, what am I doing? But now I am totally like really good at like folding it up and everything. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Uh, all right. So let's see. Do a question. Oh, yeah. Let me do a question. That's a good one. Just let me know if something comes on I have to take care of. Um, okay. All right. What about, I don't want to make something like yeah, too, go ahead. I don't want to do something too hard to, oh, okay. This is a good one. What is your pet peeve? Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going to put it in the chat for you. Okay. What is your pet peeve? Okay, you go first. Oh, okay. Wait, let me put it in the chat. Okay. What is my pet peeve? Huh. I don't know. Um, all right. Maybe you'll inspire me. 
All right, my pet peeve is what I'm doing right now. Deleting a dumbass. Oh, I'm sorry. Deleting a jerk who um, sexually harasses women. I, I can't handle it. It. I, I'm now deleting it. It took me like a minute because I thought you said you did. And I was doing as much as I could. No, it has to be done on my end. And I actually um, emailed Amazon about it and I sent screenshots and I said, look, this is beyond her. This is like sexual harassment. And I've seen them post, you know, we talked about it. It's a real big pet peeve of mine that people are allowed to do that. And they come back with new names and uh, it's like. Oh, and Alan said he was helping out. So thank you. We oh, thank you, it. Alan. Yeah, it's always the same person. It's, it's the same comment every time. It's like, get some creativity. I think it was killing him that we were ignoring him too. <laughs> I was like, throw all your comments in there. And it's really easy when it's the two of us. Um, oh, my, I'll tell you my pet peeve is okay. my pet peeve are people who are like either passive aggressive mm -hmm. or, or like complain about things and then don't do anything about it, mm. which yeah. is not to generalize the Midwest, but there's a lot of that in the Midwest. Oh, I, yeah, I get I that. Like, like New Yorkers who are like, if you have a problem, you, you say it, you know? Yes. Yeah. Like you confront it and do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a good, um, Alan, do you have a pet peeve? Let us know. I'm trying to, yeah. I mean, I have quite a few. I, I don't like dishon dishonest people. That's a huge pet peeve of mine. Like lying, mm -hmm. cheating, like stealing. Mm -hmm. When people steal my Amazon videos, I like go aggro. <laughs> oh, yeah. So oh. I'm like, ah! <laughs> No, I, yeah, I would have to say trolls are probably on Amazon Live. My number they one. are, they are. You could have been um, even picked. I'm like, what? What's that? Anyways, I think it's deleted yeah. now. But who knows? Okay. Oh, um, do you want to do your next product? Yeah, I'll do my next product. That's exciting. and if you're open, and we're telling everyone if you're just joining, we're doing a Q and A. So feel free to hop in. It's just we're asking questions, getting to know everyone. Yes. Yes. Okay. So my next product is a TV. Um, and that's just to go back to my news reporting days. So I was a TV news anchor and reporter for six years of my life. So I put up a TV. Um, these are on deal as well. So that's why I chose these. They're, one is 47% off and the other is 33% off. And the, the little or one is 89 bucks. So it's like a really yeah. good price for I us. I want to get a new TV for my workout room. Um, so I, I should look into that. Yeah, look into it. I mean, it's like that price you cannot beat. <laughs> it's so cheap. So I, what cities or towns did you live in when you did this? When I was a news anchor reporter? Okay, mm -hmm. so my starter market was in Greenville, Mississippi. And it is one of the poorest parts of America. It's called the Mississippi Delta. And it was crazy. <laughs> um, I did a year there and I got out. I was like, this is awful. Um, in fact, I was, this is like such a sidebar and I don't want to offend anyone, but like, I still have PTSD about Walmart because I lived there. Like that was the only thing to do in the town was like go to Walmart. And, um, <laughs> I like hate Walmart. Um, anyways, so, Walmart the shame. Yeah. It was like total people at Walmart. Okay. So then I did Mississippi and then I was in Bend, Oregon for a few years and I loved Bend. Bend is like beautiful ski resort town. That's where we got our idea for our company. And then I freelanced in San Diego as well. And then I moved to online news and have done that. I did that for many years, um, remote. So I was working from home and then, yeah. And then now I do this. So. But you're from California, right? I am. I'm from San Diego. So this is like oh, we're always we're back home. Yeah, I am a hometown girl, but I did move around like with my yeah. news reporting. So, yeah. Um. Oh, and what were you going to show next? Oh, the oh, TV. Okay. Our TVs. Yeah. And that was that was just putting that up there. OK, so my next one is the luggage. So um, one big thing about me, I love to travel. Like travel is a huge passion of mine. And I'm really lucky that I married someone who also believes that like travel is super important. So we are, our kids have passports. We are like, let's go. We don't, we're one of those people who once we've been somewhere, we check it off a list. We don't usually go back. We want to go see the whole world. So we're not someone that's like we vacation in the same spot every year. Um, there's some places I would go back to, but there's so much more I want to see. So I put this luggage set up and I have a little video. Hey, so I should ask your question though. So, okay. cause I think it's a good question. So what, what's your dream place to visit? Madagascar. Yeah. <laughs> That's like my, I've wanted to go there since I was 10 years old. Um, little Island off of Africa. 
And there's like lemurs and animals that exist there and plants that exist there that don't exist anywhere else in the world. So I've always wanted to go there. I actually want to be the ambassador there one day. It's like a really weird like goal that I've had since I was a kid. This is like before the movie Madagascar come out, came out. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's like my, I, I really want to go to Africa in general um, and, and do some like go to a safari and maybe do some yeah. volunteering and stuff. But I would, if I get to Africa, I, you better believe I'm going to Madagascar. Yeah, for sure. What about um, you? Okay. Oh, well, I seem as like, since I was a little kid, I've always wanted to go to Australia and I've never been there and Africa too. Also, um, and my best friend is South African and she's always like, do you want to go? But she'll go for a few days. And like, I need to go for like a long time. How does you know? she, she flies over there for a few days? Or she wants to go for like a week where I feel like I want to spend like three weeks. Oh, you know, okay. I want to really see the country. So I never, yeah. but I haven't been, I've been to Morocco, which technically is Africa. Yeah. Um, but not Africa, Africa. I would go for a week even just to go. But um, Australia, I did study abroad there in college. So oh, I lived in Sydney for six months. My sister-in-law did that too. That's and so it's just a place I've never been. I've been to a lot of places, just not I over in Australia. I would love to go back. That would be super cool. Yeah. It was awesome. I loved it. Yeah, no, I think I would love it. I am Thank excited you know to hear it. in chat of the questions so other people can answer. And yes, I do. And that one I just came up with on the fly. So, oh, good one. Um, okay, because, okay, so what is your, uh, what was it? Alan had answered his pet peeve as people messing with his peeps and animals. Oh, right. Oh. You don't mess with us. <laughs> you don't mess with animals either. All right. So answer that in the chat and then I'll be able to show that hopefully in a minute. Okay. Um, and let's show your luggage. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's going to be. This is a little tiny video. Okay. I don't even think you need. All right. So that's just a cool set. It's on deal today as well. You get a little 18, you get 18% off, which is awesome. Yeah. And it's a hard plastic and it comes in a whole bunch of colors, which I thought was a lot of fun. I got lavender, which is my favorite color. And then you get like the carry on size and then like a super tiny size, maybe for your kids or something like that. And then a giant size. So if you ever need like that hard shell giant size, I love the hard shell, um, the hard shell luggage. I, that's what my favorite one that I own is, do you know, there's a $25 off coupon. Did you say that? No, I'm not even clicking on them. So, okay. And there's an additional 25%, that $25. That's awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. Such a good. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. It's such a good set. So um, if you're looking for new luggage and it expands and there's a lock on it, there's a whole bunch of stuff. There's like inner zipper pocket areas as well. Um, so yeah, I've been really impressed by this luggage. So I like that you get all the, all the different ones. In fact, I bought, I got this reset and then I actually gave my mom and dad one of the three. I was like, do you guys want some um, luggage? So I think we're going to have to wrap this up because I'm looking at the time. Oh, and you got to go. Yeah. Oh no. Well, Alan said Nova Scotia. Okay. Well, that's fine. No worries. Let's wrap. Um, we will have to come back another time and do the other products. Yeah, so, man, it was really, I guess time flies. So I guess it was really fun. Yeah. No, that was super fun. I like it. I liked our okay. So everyone follow us both. Follow Michelle. Yeah, follow us both. Thank you for watching. And um, we're going to try to do lots more fun things like this. I know. So, I think we can do Q&A every week. We'll just make it Yeah, I think it's really fun. If, if you like q &A, put it in the chat. Yeah, we were talking about like crafting and doing some really cool stuff. So we will get creative. All right, go pick up your kids. I know. Bye. Bye. <laughs>